want to utilize the free 2000 email per month provided by HubSpot, there's a few configuration that needs to be done. Don't worry about it's not super technical. In fact, it only takes five to 10 minutes to configure it. And I'm going to show you the process. So as long as you have a free or paid account in HubSpot, and you also have access to your DNS records, which can be found on your domain provider, then I think you're good to go. So are you ready? Yes, let's jump into my computer. So to set up your email sending domain, again, simply click the gear icon located on the top right corner of your header and scroll at the bottom part and find the website and look for the domain and URLs. So click this domain tab in here and hit the connect a domain button. Now we will choose the email sending option and click the main. So basically, we just need to follow the wizard instruction. You need to put in your marketing email addresses. So for example, I have hi at wallsecret.com. This is just an example. Um, get about secret brother. So get wealthsecret.com. And by the way, um, when you are setting your email sending domain, you need to have access to the domain provider or to the um, hosting provider wherever your name server is pointed so as an example let's say we want to point this email address to hubspot click the next and um, click the next as well and you just basically need to follow all the steps in here to verify your account so it says here that you need to log into your dns provider so what I really like about HubSpot is they can detect where the domain is hosted. So as you can see here, this domain, the domain that I put in is hosted in GoDaddy. So you need to log into the GoDaddy in order to access the DNS provider. So I already logged into my GoDaddy account, click this one and then scroll down and by the way if you are not using or you did not purchase your domain in godaddy the process is different but all you need to remember is find your dns um, section or your dns zone editor okay so click this one and click i'm here so in case you're by the way in case your domain is purchased in godaddy and you use cloudflare or maybe you point your name server to a hosting provider this area will not be visible in godaddy you need to jump into your hosting provider where your name server is pointed let me know if you have a question we have a free consultation you can just use our link description below and um, we'll try to help you as much as we could okay so in here um this is the instruction that's very important in order to connect the hubspot and your hosting and your godaddy so it says here that you need to put in this to c name so go back to the godaddy click the add there and click the c name and then you just follow the all the details you put in the name and then you put in the value and then there then add records and then yes okay and also um, there's some duplications in here which is this one is connected to your GoDaddy so you can just remove that part there remove and then this one as well remove so we'll need to do the second one with the C name, put the email there, and put again the value, and add records, and set that up. So if you already added this both C name, you can click done there, and it's time to verify your account. So check again. So it seems like there is some issue with the C21. So let's double check that. And okay, let's try to edit. Yeah, let's try to remove the period and click save and refresh. So correct. So just remove the period after the .NET to make it work and click done. 
and you're good to go. And if you check in here, the domain is already connected. And oh, make sure as well that you configure your SPF record to avoid some spoofing stuff. Um, this is not mandatory, but I highly recommend this one to set it up. You can use tools like SendGrid and other stuff to configure your SPF record. But again, if you need help, if you're not sure how does that work, you can always email us. We will be happy to assist you. So that's it. Enjoy your 2,000 emails per month. Again, this is your host and your fun and developer at FThemes. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive a notification from FThemes.